God fucking morning, bees. Good motherfucking morning, ladies. How are y'all doing today? Oh my god, that but fucking slash, slash. 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 Oh my god, that but fucking slash. Slash slash. We good? Yes, chilling, Gucci. A ruined intro. Pog, pig. Yeah, it's cold here. More trying to make the weather into politics again. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means, man. A man. Manly, manly, man. You're a man. Life goes on. That it does. 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 Uh, anything cool, fresh, new, exciting happening in the world today? No, 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 no. Yes, actually. Uh, Arsenal one with Katarina. Yes, uh, I have seen it. I watched it. I have watched it. Yes, very good. Very good. Cat piece Everdeen. Ever so good. But all right. Very nice. Thank you for the. And uh, refreshing news, man. My girlfriend, I intended on marrying, broke up with me today. Say, I am broken. That is unfortunate news. But Hello, then... Mr. Force. I have an announcement. Listen carefully. Are you listening? I'm listening. Here it is. Reject Zual and embrace for me. Oh, oh, oh. Come to Africa, please, 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 please. I will save you for next. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Oh, two girls, one cup song. Pog. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. I got distracted. PTSD. PTSD. All right, let's see here. We got uh, IMV, Yuki Starcraft, uh, Blue Storm Dragon, Ospecti, Ospecti, Ospe, Ospecti TV. There we go. Moim D. Welcome, welcome back, boys. Dank Juicer with two years. Two years. Fist me, Force and Force and Blunder, Force and Fist. Yes, sir. Join the badge. And enjoy it while it lasts, mate. All right. Ray Coulson, Harenji, Unplayed, hey Force, named and Helen Would you ever consider right. hosting a Bay tournament in CS Dota or League? Even if you are too lazy to arrange it, some mods or subs could volunteer to do all the planning and such. Could be pretty pong. Uh, no. It cannot be very pog, alright? You specifically mentioned three motherfucking team games, okay? So you're gonna have some random people play with random people. Most unbalanced shit I've ever heard of, alright? It's gonna be shit. Unless everyone would start their own team. Which would take four months just to get the team together. It's shit. Can do some Tekken tournaments. <sighs> Frostpunk 2 gameplay trailer. <laughs> gameplay. Cope. <laughs> I mean, I like Frostpunk. But. Gameplay. 
Cup. Hello, Forson. Forson, did I ever mention to you that I am actually blind and deaf? I am no. the son of Helen Keller. That's why. No idea. Anyways, I have no idea if you said no more links or not. not yet. So here is a link for you, Forson. Alright. Pokemon with guns from game shows releases on Friday. What is Friday? 19th. What, early access? I don't even know what that fucking game is about, honestly. I don't know what the game is about. What is it called? What is the game called? Pa Pal World? Pal World. Wait, what was it? What was it? What, what genre was it? I don't even know. What is it closest to? Give me a game that is closest comparable. Pokemon is not a genre, man. It's a franchise. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I know, I know that it's Pokemon with guns. It's not a fucking genre. Fuck, you're so dumb. MMORPG Whatever genre Pokemon is but add guns Again, Pokemon is not a genre Okay When you say Pokemon you might be referring to the franchise, or you might be referring to the fucking old school RPG style, alright? But RPGs came way before Pokemon. Therefore, the genre is RPG. It's the Pokemon universe, I get that. But it's not even Pokemon universe. It's little, off-brand Pokemon. <laughs> it's a survival game. Okay, so it's what? Like Rust with Pokemons. Is it Rust with Pokemons? Because Rust isn't an MMORPG. Like Ark. Yeah, so Rust. Ark. You're very bad at describing games. I must say, Zoomer Brain, uh, is that it? Motherfuckers. Uh, Patrick Star. Let's see what you got. All right, let's let's see what brain brain shite. What the hell is allow YouTube ads? Video player will be blocked. It looks like you may be using an ad blocker. Video playback will be blocked unless YouTube is allow listed or the ad blocker is disabled. Ads allow YouTube to shut the fuck up. Fuck it. No further links, Your Honor. Superstitions surrounding bathrooms in Japan. Toilets are the unexpected setting of a lot of urban legends there. For example, Akamanto, aka Red Cape. A masked spirit who appears to people in public bathroom stalls. If the occupants run out of toilet paper, Akamanto will offer them a roll of either red or blue paper. If you choose the red paper, you'll meet an immediate bloody end. The spirit may flay you alive, or rip the spine from your body and wrap it around your neck like a cape. If you choose the blue paper, Akamanto will place his hands around your throat and squeeze until your face turns blue. Try and outsmart him by picking another color. Force and when will you come to Iran? The Iranian government guarantee your safety, Sebastian. They also promise the safety of your family in Sweden. We are ready to leave you alone, Mr. Force. Come, Tehran. Hmm. Surely, I want to go to Iran. A lovely place. Around your neck like a cape. 
If you choose the blue paper, Akamanto will place his hands around your throat and squeeze until your face turns blue. Try and outsmart him by picking another color, and a pair of hands will drag you to the underworld. Your only viable option is to make a run for it without wiping, so there's really no winning in this game. Now those type of stories are popular among high schoolers and fans of the paranormal, sure, but ultimately no one really believes them, and they're just seen as a bit of fun. There are, however, some genuinely unsettling figures that lurk in Japanese public bathrooms, namely Peeping Toms. Things have gotten a lot better in recent years, but in the not so distant past, Japan had a real problem with pervs. Men who go around following, grabbing, and photographing women. In many ways, that's still a big problem in Japanese society, and it's the reason that trains in the country have female-only carriages, and why phone cameras can't be switched to silent mode. But one place in particular that these men seemingly couldn't help but venture into back in the day was women's bath stalls. Which brings us to our first entry from Tomura County, a rural area in Fukushima. It was the cold, dark night. Wasn't the guy who crawled into the toilet? Of a a shit female stall? school teacher named Yumi Tanaka went into a restroom just outside her single person dormitory. Inside was an old fashioned squat yeah. toilet, a simple model where the septic tank was U shaped. One end of the pipe was connected to the toilet inside the bathroom and the other to the outside world. You'd drop your business down the bathroom end of the pipe, and periodically, it would all get sucked out from the other end by a machine. After using the squat toilet, Yumi looked down into it and noticed something bizarre. There was a leather shoe deep inside the toilet. Confused, she went outside to open the concrete lid of the septic tank, but found it was already ajar. She gazed down into this opposite end of the pipe, and what she saw made her heart skip. Squashed inside the thin septic tank, covered in human waste, was the frozen body of Naoyuki Kano, a 26-year-old man who worked for the local power plant. An autopsy would later reveal that he had died two days prior, due to a combination of pressure on his chest and hypothermia. Investigators were stunned to find him in such a strange position. He was lying on his back in the fetal position, his head positioned just under the squat toilet. Despite the freezing temperatures, Naoyuki's torso was completely bare, and his shirt was found neatly folded atop his body. One of his shoes was on top of his face, that's the one Yumi had seen. His other shoe was later found on the bed of a river, quite some distance from his body. His car was discovered close to the bathroom, with the keys still in the ignition and the doors unlocked. The authorities quickly closed the case, concluding that Naoyuki must have squeezed into the pipe in order to peep up at women as they used the bathroom, and to enjoy the feeling of their waist covering him. Naoyuki's friends and family were outraged by that assertion. The young man was known for being an upstanding, sunny, moral citizen. Moral he had helped many of the locals with odd jobs and problems they were facing, and was well known in the community. He was also the Minister of Entertainment and Activities of the local youth club, and was considered a role model by all the young members. There was no way such an intelligent and sweet guy perished doing something so shameful and foolish. <clears throat> they believed that Naoyuki had been the victim of foul play. More than 4,300 local villagers Japanese signed a petition model. for Naoyuki's case to be reopened, but the authorities denied their request. The coroner had ruled that Naoyuki only had minor abrasions on his knees and elbows, with no noticeable wounds, suggesting that he had been forced inside the pipe. Forced. So, in short, there are two possibilities when it comes to this case. Either Naoyuki had gone into the pipe willingly for his own gratification, or he was put in there by somebody else. But was there any evidence that he had been murdered? Actually, there were several pieces. Dun, dun, Firstly, dun. the pipe he was trapped in was tight, and I mean extremely tight. Naoyuki's shoulders were 16 inches wide, but the diameter of the pipe which he had slid into was only 14 inches. The recovery crew couldn't pull his body out, no matter how hard they tried, and the entire pipe had to be destroyed just to get him out. As Naoyuki slid himself face up into the pipe and shimmied his way down, he must have realized there was no way for him to get out. 
he wouldn't have been able to get past the ceramic toilet above him, and it would have been impossible to crawl out backwards. Would he really have put himself in such a risky position, just to fulfill a fantasy? Yeah. Even if he had, the lighting in the bathroom was so weak, he wouldn't have been able to see anything anyway. Yeah, kept his Second, hindsight though. His missing shoe, being found so far from his body, didn't make any sense at all. Why would Naoyuki have thrown one of his shoes into a river, so far from his destination, and then crawled into the pipe, with the other in his hand? Thirdly, it wouldn't have been possible for Naoyuki to neatly fold his shirt while stuck within the confines of the pipe. He must have folded it before he went inside. But if it was so cold, why did he remove it at all? If he didn't want to get it dirty, surely he would have just left it outside. Fourthly, the fact that he had perished from hypothermia was odd. Most people who have fallen or crawled into septic tanks in the past have either died from drowning or from breathing in toxic fumes. It's not clear how much waste was inside the pipe. 37 sure minutes the fumes would have still been put into <laughs> Oh, it's different stories though. Alright. Well, either way. Tough shit. Uh oh. I miss him too. But old Forsen is dead. You should let it go. YouTube. Show me good old times. That's bad. That's <laughs> shit. I spill everything. Shit. That's okay. Gonna... okay. I've seen this one already. Hundred thousand times. Stop pretending to be old friends. Assassin's Creed.
It's definitely real. Five PM. When you drink a mocus potion at five PM. from the ashes. I don't think so. Motherfucking... I... How the fuck do I... Uh, how do I move that? Feeling something really bad is about to happen. I found you block origin. I have you block origin. Caches. Go into uBlock Origin settings, click Perch All Caches. <laughs> click Update Now. Girls, girls, get up! Mojo Jojo just snuck into a movie theater without paying! We're on it, Professor. They look different we, we, I we never head back. We never talk about this again. Yep. Uh-huh. And so once again, the day is saved. Thanks to Billy, Mandy, and Grim. <laughs> Grim meeting. All right, let's see here. Uh, you block. <clears throat> Do I have to restart my fucking shit like uh, like browser and shit? I hope not. No. I don't even know where the fucking extension. Where do I even see uBlock? I don't even see it. Fucking Windows 11. How does the icon look like? Extensions. uBlock Origin. Setting options. What did you say? Uh, cache, clear cache, or some shit. Settings. I don't see. I don't see clear cache anywhere. Where do you see that in the uBlock settings? Click it. Click gear icon. Perch all. Perch all uh, manage extensions. Uh, I have Windows fucking eleven. I don't see you block. Click it. 
click here I can yeah you say that but clicking it oh okay I see it now gear icon oh yeah but that's where I was backup file restore from file reset to all default where do you have a uh, clear cache I'm in the fucking new block I don't see no clear cache or purge all cache filters are oh, my filters my filters filter list purge all caches okay update now okay and now it's gonna work you see Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look, 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 see. Bounce it every one and twelve months. Uh, hurricanes and royals. Oh, then I want to take you, boys. All right, let's see. Ad blocker violate YouTubers purse. Uh, it didn't work. You might need to click the big U block power on off thing. Big YouTube power on off thing. Filters. Let's do it one more time, right? Why not? Why shouldn't I? Right? Okay. And then refresh. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Turn off adblock, it's the only fix. You need to do hacker man shit in uBlock origin script shit. What the fuck? My god. That sounds like shit. Try YouTube Premium. Surely I want to do this sign up shit right now. Ah, uh, you know what? We're watching some fucking ads, like the good old days. My God. Uh, don't run page. View web permission. Don't run on this page. How the fuck do I do this? Man, why doesn't uBlock work, huh? Can't believe you've done this. uBlock origin options. I don't I don't find select don't run on pages on this site. I guess I just turn it off. Right. That should work. Fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the weekend. Ads. 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 370 likes. For that. That comment. Who says this in a public setting? Who typed? Someone sat there. Have we thought about this? Someone sat there and he pulled out his keyboard and he cracked his fingers and he was like, hmm, what an excellent clip this was from my favorite clickbaiting YouTube channel. Now, I wonder what kind of comment I should contribute to the comment section. And the best thing he could come up with was Shondo is incredibly cute and funny as well as breathable, period, full stop. And then he hits in. Another one. Shondu, so incredibly based and breathable. Sobbing face, sobbing face, sobbing face. 
All right, that's that's enough comments for one day. I think I think I've seen enough. Yep. Yep. I don't disagree. The curtain, the Burger King, and he's out here on a plane ride, not having any fun. So he sounds like Gilbert Gottfried with a sinus infection, and he keeps whining about how a lady need him in the stomach. And this wasn't like some unprovoked act of violence against him or anything like that. It's not like they had sent an assassin on this plane flight to take out the Burger King. The reason he got need in the stomach is because he's a racist asshole, which you'll soon see. This is my seat! Can you stand up? Where is 25A? Where is 25A? Why did she just knee me in the stomach? Because you deserve it. Yes, she did! This is the face of an angry Boy Scout whose chicken fries were cold. I love that he's wearing this Burger King crown. I can't get enough of that shit. I don't even know how the fuck he would have gotten this. Like, maybe he stole it out of a dumpster or something. Like, some child had a birthday party at Burger King. God rest their soul, that'd be miserable. And then they just, like, threw out the crown and this guy just went through the dumpster to get it. Or maybe he truly earned it, right? Like, maybe they were celebrating. He was the first person that day to finish a Burger King meal without puking, so they gave him this crown as, like, a nice little souvenir. A token of their appreciation. Because you deserve it. Did you get that on camera? You deserve it. You deserve it. Excuse me, I'm part West African. You deserve it. Anytime I For obvious reasons, I'm going to be muting the N-word here. You can start to see why the passengers were pretty upset with this asshole. I have to imagine that this may even be like a McDonald's viral marketing campaign. Like the person filming is Ronald McDonald or like the Hamburglar. And they're just like filming it like, holy shit, this is going to be huge for us. That's all right! Stop you need me in the stomach! I want to press charge! Nobody! Take your shit! Get the fuck out of my seat! I don't know why he keeps saying that he wants to press charges. Like, what the fuck do you want the staff on the plane to do about it? All of a sudden, provide you with a lawyer? Like, here, okay, you want to press charges? Uh, tell it to this guy. We'll wait before we uh, take off. I just don't know what he expects to happen. Like, another passenger raises his hand. I am an attorney, and I will represent this lunatic in this case. I only require one whopper as payment. Kick that nigger bitch off the plane! Sir, you need to stop. There are children. Please stop. Stop! Hey, that's not necessary. Take your stuff and get out of my seat, please! Yeah, so he just keeps screaming and shouting and screaming the N-word, making it sound like a 2009 Call of Duty Xbox Live lobby. It's just truly awful and tons of chaos from this one guy going wild. And Burger King has some of the worst marketing of all time. Like, genuinely, their marketing campaigns are some of the most garbage. Do you remember for National Women's Day when they posted the tweet saying, Women belong in the kitchen? Which was supposed to be outrage bait where you click their tweet and then you read their next one that says that they're actually offering programs to women. Like, just stupid shit like that. They can't do anything right when it comes to marketing, so I truthfully wouldn't be surprised to learn that this whole thing was supposed to be a marketing stunt from Burger King gone wrong. Maybe it's supposed to end like that Pepsi ad with Kylie Jenner and the Pepsi saving the world. This one ends with this guy taking a bite of a Whopper and it cures racism. He's no longer racist and everyone on the plane is super happy as Whoppers and chicken fries fall from like the emergency compartments and everyone chows down. Take care of it, Thank you. but I need you to stop yelling. She gave me in the stomach, why are you in my face? I'm asking you to stop yelling. Have I committed any type of violence since I've been on the plane? You're no. Yelling and so you're what? Yes, sir. That's she gave me in the stomach! I don't no. care what she did. You're being Thank disrespectful. You. Shut the fuck up for two seconds. I want a lawsuit. I want a fucking lawsuit right now, motherfucker. Give me a fucking He wants a lawsuit, god damn it, and jump in Jehoshaphat's, he's gonna get one. He just keeps saying that he wants a lawsuit as if somehow that's supposed to happen like right now. That because he called for it, a lawsuit has to now be put into motion. A judge has to come out of like the cockpit and a trial has to go underway because this guy has now declared his intent of filing a lawsuit. I just like that he proclaims that multiple times as if it's some kind of, like, ancient rule that we have to follow. Like, back in the day, if you call for a duel, you have to engage in that duel or else your honor is fucked. Him calling for a lawsuit means that... Oh, we get it. The same one joke. Uh, sir, what the thing was six months, six uh, years, I mean... Uh... My style's... 
Imagine cringe fest. Don't you feel like some kind of hole taking uh, the money of parasocial artists every day for something? You could skip every link of 10 seconds and they will still do it pointless. Uh, more like a modern day Robin Hood. I present to you, Brother Minister Mouth. Take from the rich and give to the richer. That you and I will listen, listen, hear, and understand. Thank you. Is that the Gustavo Fring? Get your hand out of my pocket! Get your hand out of my pocket, nigga! Get your hand out of my pocket! Get your hand out of my pocket! Brother, please, hold it. Calm down, please, bro. Oh my god, it's a bomb! No, no! is no more the assassination of Malcolm X was an unfortunate tragedy and it reveals that there are still uh, numerous uh, people in our nation who have degenerated to the point of expressing dissent through murder and uh, we haven't learned to disagree without being violently disagreeable violently disagreeable Hey, it's Joey from Joey's World Tour. Welcome back, guys. Today I'm going to do the Nutella Challenge. The Nutella Challenge. That's right. Okay, guys. Are you ready? Already seen it. It was not pleasant. Oh, my God. These cookies is good! I can't stop dancing! These cookies is fucking good! They good! They good! They good! Oh my god, come on! Let me get a hug! They good! They good, man! 
Time to call the cops. Can't have been that good. Right? I'm here, Dr. Hamster, Nutri Cola, tier 3, 48 months. Nice! No message. Journey Capride Badge, my man. Grid Torta, 6 years, Fortune Smug. Fortune Smug. 2 years on Peabody James. Fortune Flirt. Thank you very much. Come back. Nice. I can love ads now. Fascineras av street food i Hongkong eller ta en spontan skidresa till Alperna. Få mer semester för pengarna. Momondo, stay curious. Because you're pathologically ingrained. There's something wrong with it. Everybody we have on is fighting with everything they've got. This is a war against you and your family of inflation and collapse. So when you keep us in the fight, you keep yourself in the fight. And this is life and death. So go to InfoWarsStore.com and get amazing products and sign up for auto shipping. More ads. Make a donation to Tom because he's a gladiator and a champion in the fight. And if you don't support us, you're helping the enemy. And I'm not bitching at listeners. I'm telling you, this is all out war. Yay. Thank you so much for coming to Austin. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And, and let's just get it all going now because I want to get into you, everything about your plans to try to bring jobs to America, unifying people, uh, running for president, all those other issues. We want to hear from Ye. Go ahead. There's Jewish people that are basically hiding me under their floorboards right now, under their wooden floors. It's like a reverse version of the Holocaust. I thought... That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I... I see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. Let me just get this out front. I believe in free speech, and, and I, that's why I want you to be here and be able to say whatever you want. I'm quite the historian from a lot of multifaceted views. Uh, Alex. Yes, sir. Um, I've got the perfect answer for the ADL. Netanyahu. What do you have to say to Alex Jones right now, Nick Fuentes and Ye? It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Ye. Okay. Well, look, 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 look. look. I, I, I'm glad you guys are here, and, and we can we can we can sit here and upset. All I'm telling you is, did you, you guys realize that the British government created Hitler? Um, and, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs that shut people down. Did a lot of really bad things. Well, they did good things too. We're gonna stop dissing the Nazis all the time. Okay. We're we're gonna get to that. You get, I don't want to get digressed into this, but you, look, remember I told you a story about my grandfather. Hey, you! I'm the head of the Mossad. I'm gonna kill you and take your children away from you. Thanks a lot, Nettin. Back to you, Alex. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely uh, overwhelmed <laughs> here right now. Um, listen, all I'm trying to get through here is, I believe every group should be able I to be switched critical. his name to Nettin. What you want, man? Hey, yay, right after this, I'm gonna say you're crazy. I'm gonna take your, your family away from you. We are not done with you yet. You cannot cause free thought. We have to control the history books. We have to control the banks. And we have to go and kill people. After this, ha -ha. So, and in a little while, hopefully you're gonna take the mask off, because this, is this actually yay here? <laughs> Uh, this is crazy. Uh, listen, all I'm trying to say is... Milo's Jewish. And uh, you've got a little bit of the Hitler fetish going on. It's not a fetish. I I just love information. I'm not on the whole Jew thing. It's just it's what I'm saying. I don't care if people talk about it. I believe in free speech. I'm just really worried about the forced injections, world government, 5G, uh, the open borders, the collapsing currencies, war with Russia. What do you think? Nick? Let Ye speak. Let the man speak. You may not agree with what he has to say, but why don't you want him to speak? I don't get it. I do love Hitler. We love everyone. You're love just saying love humanity and stop getting past the labels. It's love, very... Love is the key. Everyone's promoting this loathing, and it's time to promote love. I mean, just because you're in love with the design, you're a designer, can we just kind of say, like, you like the, the you like the uniforms, but that's about no, it. No, we... we... <sighs> All right. Hey, Cole, I was for four years. Hey, LMO, LMO. Sure, can buy badge man one year, Mr. Big the uh, Blow Jamax No one year badge Pag Man. He says, "Indeed, thank you, Sean. Much gracias." Vi på AI Produkter hjälper dig gärna med inredningen på din oh, arbetsplats. AI Produkter. Ha en bra dag på jobbet. Thank you. Den blågrå väskan öppnades. Där låg en superduper deal från Super Stoppit. Superduper deal. Nice. 
Hello, Vets. Oh my god! Huh? I'm stuck on the fucking freeways all over the place! They got it all blocked off! The white center exit! The convention center exit! Every motherfucking exit! You pop my ass! I have not seen this though. This is recent, two months. He nearly hits people, right? So he's not actually hitting. What is he saying? Oh my god.
Well, this guy seems uh, super sane. Super sane in the membrane. What 40 years of America does to a motherfucker. <laughs> I guess. Alright, very good, very good. Uh, we are a good day, ladies and gentlemen of the arena. <clears throat> Uh, I think we have very little remaining on our playthrough. And then uh, we'll play some other shit. Eat the pork bun! Full screen, motherfucker. I can't, I can't, I can't believe you've done this. Loading, loading, loading. 